Welcome back. Well, here's the current view outside of downtown Sioux City, where we are now covered by a blanket of clouds out there. Not foggy yet, but that could change in the near future. This view is brought to you by the Ho-Chunk Center. Temperatures not too terribly cold out there in the 20s across the area at 27 in Lamars, 29 in Wayne, 28 near Yankton, and 21 near Sheldon. Our Sioux City sensor is currently out at this moment. Along with that good news of not too cold of temperatures, the winds are fairly light today coming out of the south, southeast in Sioux City at 3 miles an hour southwest from in Wayne at 6 miles an hour with calm conditions in Cherokee, Storm Lake, and Denison. So all around, not too bad of an evening, evening, just a little bit of a chill out there, but not too bad. Satellite radar imagery shows that we had a little bit of pocket of sunshine earlier this afternoon, but then clouds started moving in and taking over the area, and that's pretty much how this week is going to play out. As we take a look at the stormcast now, 7 o'clock tonight, we are going to be mostly cloudy. Then right around 11 and 12 o'clock tonight, we are going to see some fog start rolling into the area. Now, given temperatures are going to be well below freezing in the 20s, that fog could turn into some freezing fog, which could make way for some slick surfaces out there. But the good news is that fog will start to disappear right around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, making way for mostly cloudy skies to return. We might see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, but we are going to stay mostly cloudy tomorrow into Monday. Monday is going to be on the cool side with highs in the 30s and lows in the low 20s and teens. So all around, not too bad of a week ahead. Just not a whole lot of sunshine coming our way. So we could see the winter blues return this week. Tonight, I mentioned it's not going to get too much colder out there. We're going to fall to a low of 20 by tomorrow morning, but we do have that fog and possibly freezing fog to deal with overnight and tomorrow morning. The good news there is, though, winds are going to stay nice and light, so it shouldn't get too bad out there. Tomorrow, we could see that patchy fog lingering into the morning hours. As I mentioned, we could see that disappear between 10 and 12 tomorrow. But the good news is, look at this high, high of 34 tomorrow. If only we had some sunshine to go along with that, but unfortunately, we're going to stay mostly cloudy. Now, as I mentioned, that does not mean we won't see pockets of sunshine. Here's a look at the 9 on 9 forecast going into the upcoming week. The good news is that you can see dry conditions for the week ahead despite the cloudy conditions we're going to see. Temperatures not too bad. Tomorrow we're looking at, 20, or Monday we're looking at a high of 29. That should be our coldest day, day this week. Then from there we're going to stay in the 30s all week. We really won't see sunshine return until the weekend on Sunday, but with that, we could see 40s return on Sunday and Monday of next week. Wow, as long as we're not in the single digits, a few clouds aren't going to kill us. Yeah, you know, I, I guess that's the worst part of the, the forecast this week is just some cloud coverage out there. Not too shabby no. for this time of year. Thanks so much, Caitlin.